Welcome back to Just Cook Damn It. Today I'm watching my daughter make her triple chocolate bliss chocolate cake. We found this recipe and she wanted to make it and give it a try. And believe me, when I say she knocked it out of the park, that gal can bake her butt off. So first we wanna get started with the dry mixture. Cocoa powder, flour, your baking soda and baking powder, sugar, and last but not least, a little bit of salt. And after all this dry mixture is in a bowl, she mixed it up very well together. going to get started with the wet mixture. She added her eggs in, some hot water, butter, melted of course, and vanilla extract. Blend this mixture together with the blender. This is me showing her how to use it, the settings. And take that mixture, place it to the side. And while she's doing this, I am putting the oven, or preheating the oven on 350 for her. She's preparing the pans, because she wants to make sure that the cake doesn't stick in the pan. This is her first go around on baking a cake. Pouring the mixture in the pan. The eight inch round cake pan. She had two bowls of this mixture, so she had two pans to pour it in. Now she's trying to make sure all the bubbles come to the top or rise to the top. And she's gonna start with the frosting. She's placing some chocolate chips, semi-chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate chips, some milk, butter. She was struggling with this butter, y'all. This butter did not want to come out. She finally got it. She added in, in addition to that, some sugar, cocoa powder, and a little bit of cornstarch. Now I was asking her what the cornstarch was for, and she said this cornstarch is going to help thicken up the frosting. On a medium heat, she made sure this mixture was melted down and she just kept on stirring. I know her wrist was hurting. And after a while, your mixture will become like this, this consistency. Then she took a bow and poured this mixture into it. Afterward, she took the mixture, I keep on calling it mixture, the frosting, and placed it in the refrigerator so she can get started with the cakes. On the first level, she took the frosting, which the frosting stayed in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes to an hour to get thickened. And she just lathered that frosting on top of the cake like such. Then she took the second layer, popped it on top, leathering on the frosting on the top layer. Now keep in mind, your cake does not have to look perfect, but it does have to taste amazing. And afterwards, this is what she got. An amazing triple chocolate bliss chocolate cake. And when I tell you this freaking cake was amazing, I came back for seconds. And I feel guilty afterwards.
So all that's left to do is just take your fork and enjoy. And trust me, you will. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And God bless.